glad you can join me here at Just a Papa and His Daughters for another story time. And today I'm going to be reading a special request story. This one was sent to me um, that someone wanted me to read, so shout out to you guys. Um, this one is called Libby Loves Science. Fun fact about my girls, uh, my daughters, especially my oldest one, loves, loves science. Has at least three or four um, kits at the house that she loves to work with. And it's, it's always fun to, to see, see her enjoy that. Um, I, I like science a lot too. Anyways, with that, here's our story, Libby Loves Science. Mix and measure. On Saturday morning, Libby got up early. She fed her dog sprinkles. Then she made her own breakfast. Today was a special day. Happy birthday, Sprinkles, Libby said, hugging her dog. What time is the puppy party? asked Libby's mother. It starts in two hours, Libby said. Rosa is coming over now to help me get ready. I want to help too, said Leo, Libby's little brother. As soon as Rosa arrived, they got started. We need some doggy decorations, said Rosa. We need some doggy treats, said Leo. We need to make cupcakes for our guests, said Libby. Sprinkles wagged her tail. She was excited too. Libby and Rosa found the perfect cupcake recipe. The cupcakes looked fluffy and yummy. Each cupcake had a candy paw print on the top. These are so cute, said Rosa. The friends read the list of ingredients. I'll get the sugar, flour, and baking powder, said Libby. I'll get the milk, vanilla, and butter, said Rosa. Leo knocked over the baking powder by mistake. What a mess! Leo! said Libby. The friends got out mixing bowls, measuring spoons, and measuring cups. Libby found the hand mixer. Let's bake, she said. Ruff, said Sprinkles. Libby read the recipe. First, we need to measure the flour, she said. Rosa picked up a measuring cup. She carefully measured one and a half cups of flour, then poured it into a bowl. What's next, asked Rosa. Now we mix the other ingredients in a different bowl, said Libby. In a second bowl, Libby and Rosa mixed together one cup of sugar, half cup of butter, two teaspoons of vanilla, and two eggs. Now, what does the recipe say? Rosa asked. Libby read the directions. We have to mix all the ingredients and then stir in a half cup of milk, she said. Make sure there are no lumps, said Rosa. Mixing is just as important as measuring, said Libby. The friends took turns mixing the batter until it was perfect. That looks good, said Libby. Yeah, it's time to bake the cupcakes, said Rosa. Rosa put paper liners into the cupcake pan. The liners were decorated with paw prints. Libby spooned batter into each liner. She filled each liner halfway. She only used half of the batter in the bowl. Libby's mom put the cupcakes into the oven and set the timer. Are they done yet, Leo asked. The recipe says they need to bake for 20 minutes, Rosa said. Let's decorate for the party while the cupcakes are baking, Libby said. Libby, Leo, and Rosa strung streamers around the yard. They set up a doggy grooming station and a bubble machine. They set up hoops to jump through. They even made a special happy birthday sign. Leo poured doggy treats into bowls. Ding! The cupcakes are ready, Rosa said. Libby's mom pulled the hot cupcake pan out of the oven. Oh no, our cupcakes are flat, Libby said. And they're hard, Rosa said. They look like rocks, said Leo. They sure aren't fluffy, said Libby. What happened, said Rosa. Libby noticed the spilled baking powder on the counter. We forgot an important ingredient, she said. Baking powder is what makes the cupcakes rise. Do we have to start over, asked Rosa. I don't think so, Libby said. We still have half the batter left. Libby and Rosa studied the recipe again. It says to use one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, Rosa said. She reached for the measuring spoon. Wait, said Libby. We only have half the batter left, so we should cut that amount in half. Good thinking, said Rosa. What is half of one and a half teaspoons? I know, said Libby. It's three fourths of a teaspoon. So Rosa measured the baking powder, and Leo mixed it in with the batter. Libby's mom put the new batch of cupcakes into the oven. Cross your fingers, Libby said. This time, 
When the cupcakes came out, they were perfect. Yummy, said Leo. Everyone's going to love these, said Rosa. We need, de we need to decorate them before our guests get here, Libby said. They still need to cool, said Rosa. We're running out of time. Ruff, said Sprinkles. While they waited, Libby, Rosa, and Leo stuffed goodie bags for their guests. Every pup would get one chew toy and one doggy treat. And every friend would get a puppy sticker and a puppy pencil. Finally, the cupcakes were cool. Libby, Rosa, and Leo frosted each one. Then they decorated them with paw prints made of candy. They finished just in the nick of time. Minutes later, the guests arrived. The humans put on their party hats and the pups wore their doggy bandanas. There was a lot of barking and there was even more wagging. The pups played pin the tail on the cat, a sprinkles one. The pups played musical mats, sprinkles lost. Some dogs were groomed, and some dogs took naps. The pups loved their treats, and everyone loved the cupcakes. How did you make such fluffy cupcakes? asked Libby's mom. We mixed and measured, said Libby. We frosted and decorated, said Leo. Baking is so much fun, said Rosa. That's because baking is science, said Libby, and I love science. The end. All right, what a great story about mixing and measuring. Those were the key words here. And if you look at our glossary on this page right here, we have bake, ingredient, mix, and measure. And you guys at home can look at these four pictures and you look and say, is this a mix or a measure? All right, so why don't you try that at home? And even some fun things to do here um, when mixing colors and for measuring that you guys can do as well with um, some great questions. So feel free to screenshot this page or pause it um, whenever you guys are doing what is on the next page, which I'll show you right here. And it is a recipe for Libby's Puppy Party Cupcakes. So this recipe makes 12 cupcakes. And I haven't tried this at home, but if they're anything like the one in the book, um, then these cupcakes should be pretty good. Um, so if you guys decide to try making this, um, Definitely send me an email and let me know. Um, I think I'll end up doing this with my daughters at some point. So anyways, so glad you could join me. And I look forward to having you join me for the next story. Uh, remember, science is fun. All right, bye guys.